family, welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys I have a Dollar Tree bathroom DIY video. I have never done a video just dedicated to bathroom DIYs. I've done some bathroom DIYs in the past before but not an entire video of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below which is your favorite craft I did. I actually ended up liking all of them that I pretty much like them all. If I had to choose one I don't I like the washcloth crate. I like the picture a lot. I like the soap dispenser. I don't even know what my favorite is. I think the washcloth crate. I think I'm going to go with that. I've been asked countless times to do a video like this, so I hope you guys like it. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not, and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the tutorial. I'm hungry. I'm going to go get food. Let's start with this easy soap dispenser and toothbrush holder. Dollar Tree carries a bunch of these in just solid colors. I chose the white ones. And the other thing that you're going to get from Dollar Tree are some of their rub-on transfers. If you already own a Cricut, you do not need these unless you like this. So with these rub-on transfers, basically they're kind of like a sticker. And what you want to do is you want to cut out the letters that you want. And one by one, you place the letters on top of whatever it is that you're putting it on top of. And you rub it in place. And you want to make sure you really rub it in place and slowly peel the plastic off. So just in case you forgot to rub one piece off, you can place the plastic back down and then rub it back into the surface you're trying to rub it into. So that's why you always want to slowly peel rather than take the plastic and rip it right off because you could probably mess it up that way. I was mainly using my nails to rub all the transfers into place. Dollar Tree also carries little scrapers that you can use and I ended up using that on the wash soap dispenser that I did. You can put whatever you want. I just put something basic and simple brush where the brushes are, the two brushes, and then wash where the soap dispenser is. I wanted to give the soap dispenser more of an enamel look, so I found this black soap dispenser from Dollar Tree and I'm taking the top off of it. I'm cutting down the tube a little bit just so it fits the inside of the other soap dispenser that I have. And then I'm just twisting that cap on and I like it so much better with the black versus the white. Even though the white still looks nice, it just has more of the enamel look to me and I really just like the way that it looks. So you could do that with any color top that they have. You can mix and match. To make both of these, it only cost me $4. If I would have left the top still white, it would have only cost me $3. Super inexpensive. So now I'm gonna show you how to create some art for the bathroom. I'm gonna be using this stretch canvas that I got from Dollar Tree. It is the eight by 10 inch one. And what I'm doing is I'm removing the canvas paper off of it so that I could use the wood that's inside of it as the frame for my picture. And to initially get the canvas paper off, I use some pliers and once I remove one side of it with the pliers, I then just use my hand to rip the rest off. It's easier to just use your hand to rip the rest off after you initially got one side off. If you got enough strength to rip it off from the get go by yourself, go ahead and do that. Once I have my wood exposed, I then go ahead and paint it. I am using apple barrel paint and melted chocolate. I got it for 59 cents at Walmart. I didn't paint the back of the canvas. I'm gonna be gluing some rulers to the back of it. The rulers I'm using are from Dollar Tree. They come for, come in a two for a dollar pack. And I'm taking the stickers off of them that have the inches on them. And then I'm gonna be painting them white. I'm using five rulers total. I didn't paint the back of them white for video purposes. I try to get things done quickly, but you can paint the back and the front of them if you want to. Once I have them painted, I then use scissors to cut them down to fit the back of the canvas because they're kind of too long. If you have something better to use than scissors, go ahead and use them, but I just use scissors and I'm very careful with them. The wood does start to split, but if you go slow, it's not going to split too bad. After I have cut five rulers, I then glue them to the back of my canvas. I used hot glue to glue them and it worked perfectly fine. It's fine for something like this. If you wanna use wood glue, you can do that as well. Make sure before you glue the rulers on, you space them out so they're all spaced pretty evenly. You can do six rulers if you want to, but if you do six, you have to cut one probably in half, like straight down the middle. So once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. 
Now I'm going to be using these poster stickers. They're just black poster stickers. Work really well for farmhouse decor. And what I'm going to do is I am going to spell out soak, wash, and rinse. And as I take my stickers, I kind of slightly place them on top of the rulers. I don't push them in all the way so I can get the spacing right. And once I get the spacing right, I then push the stickers onto the rulers and make sure they're nice and stuck to the rulers. But like I said, I slightly place it first so that way I can space it out without them sticking to the rulers right away and then I'm stuck peeling them off and messing up the stickers. This picture cost me $5 to make. I really, really like it. I have to figure out where I actually want to place it in my bathroom. So the next thing I'm going to show you, you can turn it into a soap holder if you want to or a planter, which I did. Dollar Tree right now is carrying these little cute tubs in the children's toy section. I am going to be using the poster stickers for this initially, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. So the poster stickers were kind of too big for the side of my tub. So I ended up cutting them down so that they would fit the side of the tub. And I did this with each letter to spell out wash. And I ended up hating the way that it looked. But I was like, let me just see where this goes. Then I ended up taking some black paint and painting along the edge, top edge of the tub to give it an enamel look. The greenery I added to the inside of my tub was actually not from Dollar Tree. It's from the Target Dollar Spot. It's only $1, the same price you're going to pay at Dollar Tree for some better looking greenery than what Dollar Tree normally carries. Same price as Dollar Tree, but it looks better. Then, like I said, I decided I really hated the way the wash looks, so I used these rub-on transfer stickers from Dollar Tree instead, and they really match the vibe of what I was trying to go for, kind of like farmhouse, but also French style looking. So I just put wash with the rub on transfer stickers. And these ones have like little greenery and foliage looking things. So I ended up putting that on the side of where I spelled wash and it ended up looking so much better than the other way to me. If you like the other way, you can go ahead and do that. But I like this way so much better and this thing is so freaking cute like i said you can use it to put soap inside of you'll just have to make sure you're getting rid of any water at the bottom because it doesn't drain like that you don't want old water sitting in there and then building up bacteria on top of your soap so you will have to end up draining it out anyways that is it for this little planter whatever you want it to be this thing came out so freaking cute so now I'm going to show you how to do something that I see so much at other stores. Dollar Tree carries these small little wood crates. I ended up using a wood stain from Verathane in Dark Walnut to stain the crate. Now I'm taking this little piece of art from Dollar Tree that says wash, dry, fold, repeat. That wash, dry, fold, repeat part is a galvanized metal piece that you can take off. So you use your finger to slightly lift the edge and then get a flathead screwdriver or just something flat to get under it and then just kind of push it off so that you can use that galvanized metal. So I'm just going to be cutting out the piece that says wash. I then glue that to my crate and then I just add some washcloths. So Dollar Tree carries washcloths and then the microfiber washcloths that come in a four pack. So I'm going to be using some white and gray ones and I rolled them and placed them inside of the crate and it just reminds me of things I see all the time at Ross, Burlington, Home Goods. It came out so stinking cute and that's actually what we use in our wa washroom. We don't have a towel holder. So we just have like something placed out with a bunch of washcloths on top of them and that's what we use to dry our hands. So this was perfect for the bathroom as well. Now I'm going to show you how to create these little Q-tip and cotton holders. Dollar Tree carries a bunch of jars you can use. Just figure out the ones that you like. I am going to start off by making a larger one and to make it larger I'm going to be using this candle holder that I got from Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is I flipped it over and I'm gluing one jar on top of it. And the reason I flipped it over was the bottom base had more surface for glue versus the top of it. And I'm using hot glue. I recommend using E6000. For video purposes, I use hot glue. And now I can't use E6000 until I give birth. I ain't trying to breathe in some bad fumes while I'm pregnant. So that's what I did. Next up, I'll be using these chalkboard tags. And these gold rub-on transfer stickers, again from Dollar Tree, to label my jars. So I made one that says cotton on it, the gold 
looks really really pretty Dollar Tree does carry labels but I don't run into black labels often they have like this cream colored label I see a lot and then white ones with like red and blue borders so that's why I just went with this and then I ended up doing that again I made a little one that said q-tips and then I placed that on top of a different jar. So I had one jar that was taller and then one that was shorter. You can put all of these things on the candle pillars if you like. I decided not to. I was thinking of adding something to the top to make it look like a knob. But Dollar Tree didn't really have anything that I wanted to use. Other than like pinballs I thought of. But I ended up passing on it. For my next DIY, I actually ended up getting a piece of wood for $3.60 and cutting down a piece to 13 inches. You can have it cut down in store at Home Depot, which is where I got it. I ended up staining the wood using that Vera Thane dark walnut stain, but a very light coating of it so that it wasn't as deep as the other um, crate that I made. Now, you could use things from Dollar Tree but I just feel like it makes more sense to just go get wood it's really inexpensive and you can make a bunch of these if you want so now I'm gonna be taking a basket from Dollar Tree I removed the handle and I'm just gonna figure out where I want to place a toilet paper rod and then the basket so I want to make sure there's enough size space sorry between the two of them once I figure that out I got a toilet paper plunger from Dollar Tree and painted the wooden piece off of it black. I ended up wrapping some nautical rope at the bottom of it, just two layers, to give it a grip that I can add hot glue to. And I'm saying that because I'm going to be using wood glue to attach the stick to my wood. The thing is, it's going to keep falling over because wood glue doesn't dry right away. So because I had that nautical rope there, I can add the wood glue to the wooden stick and then add hot glue to the nautical rope and that'll be able to hold the wood stick in place while the wood glue dries versus it keep falling it like over or you're trying to find things to hold it in place just don't make the rope too big otherwise your toilet paper won't be able to get to the very bottom once i have that in place you can see i was able to put some toilet paper right over it i added Four rolls to mine. I think it could probably hold five if you want it to be that high, but I don't, I don't really think it makes sense to make it that high. And then to the basket, I decided to add a little tag there as well, and I just wrote with a white chalk pen toilet paper. I just wrote it out myself. If you have a Cricut, you can go ahead and print something. Those tags come with little pieces of twine, and I used one of those pieces of twine to tie my label onto the front of the basket. So there's two different things you can do with this, and I, actually three different things. So basically you can just have the basket if you want to place that somewhere inside of your bathroom. You can have it this way where you have the basket and the rod. And if you do it this way, I recommend cutting that rod to half its size. So you only have like two rolls that go on the stick and that could be placed on a shelf. Or you can just have it on the ground beside your um, toilet. At that point though, I don't think it makes sense to put the basket on the side of it and maybe make it a smaller piece of wood. That's it for these Dollar Tree bathroom DIYs. I'm so happy with how every single one of them came out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye.